What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to another question dealing with quadratics. So we have to find the roots of this equation over here. And notice that this equation, it's in a different format. And you may run into stuff like this where you're going to see variables in a denominator. And what you want to do with something like this is basically take everything and put it in numerator. So you want to get rid of denominators. And the way we do that, as usual, well, we would multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is the expression x plus 3. So we would multiply this by x plus 3, this by x plus 3, so the x plus 3s cancel out, and then this by x plus 3, like that. And so what would we get? We'd get 2 bracket x plus 3 over here. These x plus 3s cancel out, so we're left with a minus 1 there, and then we'll have 4x times x plus 3. Okay, and so now notice we're going to end up with an equation where there are no fractions. And now it just becomes the same as any equation that we've solved before in this section. And so here we have an x squared. It's positive, so I'm going to bring everything over to the, um, to the right side. So we'll have 4x squared plus 12x. And then this 2x I'll bring over, we'll have minus 2x. Notice that these two net out to positive 5. When we bring it over, it'll be negative 5. So we'd have 0 equals 4x squared plus 10x minus 5, like that. Right, so we end up with this quadratic equation. And I'm going to throw this into the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, we know it is this over here over 2a. So notice that in this case, the a value is 4, the b value is 10, the c value is negative 5. So we'd end up with negative 10 plus or minus uh, 10 squared minus 4 times the a value of 4 times the c value of negative 5 all over 2 times the a value of 4. So we'd have negative 10 plus or minus over here, we'll have 100. And then we'll have uh, negative 16 times negative 5, which would give us what? Positive 80. And this is going to be all over 8, like this. So we have negative 10 plus or minus root 180 over 8, like that. Okay, so that's the solution as an exact value. Now we can uh, simplify this over here. Because, okay, so let's write this out over here. We'll have plus or minus root 180 over 8. You can get the decimals directly from here, but if your teacher requires you to simplify these exact values, these root terms, then I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We got root 180. Now, root 180, what can it divide by? What rootable number? It could definitely divide by 9. We'd have that. But then notice the 20 could divide by 4. So we'd have root 9, root 4, root 5. So this 180, it actually divides also by 36. So if we wanted to get here quicker, we could have went root 36 times root 5, right? 36 times 5 would give us 180. This simplifies to 6 root 5. Versus here, we'd have to do it in a couple of steps. We'll have 3, 2, root 5, 6 root 5. Right, so root 180 is the same as 6 root 5, and then the root 5 doesn't divide by a rootable number. So we can't uh, simplify that any further. So going back to here, we'd have negative 10 plus or minus 6 root 5. That's going to be over 8. And then notice we could take out a 2 from the 10 and the 6. We have negative 5 plus or minus 3 root 5 all over 8. And then notice the 2 goes into the 8 four times. And so the two exact values, simplified exact values, uh, would be that right there. Okay, so the two solutions would be negative 5 plus 3 root 5 over 4, and then negative 5 minus 3 root 5. That's going to be over 4, like that. Those are the two exact value solution. And then if you want the corresponding decimals, we'd end up with these values right here. So whichever way your teacher 
wants it in whatever format, whether they accept decimals, if they don't, they want you to simplify the, um, the radical expressions as exact values, those would be the solutions. So with something like this, you wanna multiply it by the lowest common denominator, multiply everything on the left side and right side, and then it will turn into just a regular quadratic equation.